Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. All give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. First, I give honor to our bishop and first lady for this opportunity to come before you on this afternoon delight, on this Easter Sunday. Happy Resurrection Sunday, everybody. Amen. I also like to thank everybody for uh, your prayers for me and my family and the loss of a loved one, my uh, kids, first cousin, uh, the Martin family. I re solicit your prayers for the entire Martin family. So with that in mind, I'm going to lift up God before we get started. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we just magnify you on the day, God. Because you're so worthy, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for your death, burial, and resurrection. We thank you, Father, for keeping us another day. We thank you, Jesus, because it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. We ask you that you have your way on this afternoon. May something I say uplift and encourage someone on this evening. And again... I lift up with the entire Martin family on today, Lord God. Strengthen and encourage them, Lord. Help them through their grief on today. And all those who are grieving today, it is a holiday, Easter Sunday, and it is challenging for so many during this season. But we know, God, that you are able to comfort, or comfort everyone because the comforter is with us. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. So my scripture is just coming from only one scripture, Psalm 37, 4. One of the scriptures that uh, Bishop gave us from the, for the Afternoon Delight uh, assignment. He had asked me if I had what well, was going to finish up for Friday, and I thought about it. Like, yeah, I should have finished that up. Perfect opportunity, but we will get to that another time. Psalm 37, 4, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. This afternoon, I'm going to share some practical ways we can delight ourselves in the Lord and the purpose of it, basically. Very practical. Webster Dictionary defines the word delight as something that gives great pleasure, or joy. As we begin, we can begin delighting ourselves in the Lord by showing him that he gives us joy and that it is a pleasure to know him and serve him. Amen. To know him and serve him. These are ways and that's the way I'm going to open it up. Does that mean we will be walking around smiling 24-7? Not at all. But it does mean that we will have a gratitude, an attitude, I must say, of gratitude and an attitude of trust as we're delighting ourselves in the Lord. Even in, these time, in these times of distress and adversities, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The next focus on delighting ourselves in the Lord is to reverence him. Psalm 145, 19 states, he will fulfill the desires of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. We are to have reverential fear of the Lord, being mindful of his presence in our lives, being mindful of our worship. Like Bishop stated today, living in the place of the light. God is not interested in what we can do for him or impressed by what you can build for him. He is only interested in what's in our hearts. We're to do his will. Again, God is not interested 
and what we can do for him are impressed by what we can build for him. He is only interested in what is in our hearts. The next focus as we move on delighting ourselves in the Lord is having a prayer life. In the words of Bishop again, living in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. Proverbs, Proverbs 15, 8 states, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomin abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The best that the wicked can offer God religiously is completely rejected. It is important and vital that we have an honest relationship with God so that we can get our prayers through. Amen? Amen. God takes delight in our prayers when it comes from an honest and pure heart. It pleases the Lord when we come to him in faith believing that it is all and it also increases our faith when he answers our petition. When we see him move on our situations, it pleases the Lord. Does that mean we're going to get or to expect everything we pray for? Uh-uh. I'm not saying that either. But what I am saying is he will give you peace. He will give you joy by turning your morning into dancing. He will help you to remain focused on him. You may not get the houses and cars and all the things you desire. You may not get all the Instagram followers that you are designed and praying for. But trust me, spiritual riches are better than material riches. Hallelujah. Spiritual riches are better than material riches. As we continue to delight ourselves in the Lord, the next way we're going to continue on is to be obedient to God and his word. 1 Samuel 15, 22 states, and Samuel said, have the Lord as great delight in the burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hear, hearken, I'm sorry, and to hearken than the fat of rams. That goes back to that. I, I need to mention my message. The title of my message is, What's Your Desire? <laughs> Basically, What's Your Desire? We can have and practice all the religious rituals, practices, uh, religiosity, but in all reality, it is worthless if we are not obedient to God's laws and our relationship with him. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes, it's nice if we show up to church on Easter Sunday, on Pentecost Sunday, on Christmas seasons. But God desires more from us. He desires us to speak and live his word. Hallelujah. He desires us to seek his approval more than the approval of man. We're not to be Jesus pleasers. I mean, I'm sorry, we're not to be people pleasers. We're to be Jesus pleasers. We're not to be people pleasers. We're to be Jesus pleasers. Amen. Now someone may say, preacher, I pray. I, have a, I feel like I have a good attitude. And I'm a joyful person. I'm a happy person. I don't feel like I'm a religious person. I show up to church often. In response to that, I say, Yes, but it's time, hallelujah, for us to put some fire to our desire, hallelujah. The pandemic may have had an effect on your desires for the Lord. 
I understand that being home and watching church for a whole year has probably smothered our desire. A lot of situations, the distresses of COVID-19 has probably smothered our desires for the Lord. But we must flame the fire, hallelujah. Like Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29 states. He states, then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with, weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Hallelujah. We need that fire, glory, hallelujah, to come back and be shut up in us. Where we cannot contain it. The situations we're facing today are very trying and very worrisome. We're experiencing inner turmoils and external turmoils. Tragedies are commonplace. Yes. But as believers and as Jesus followers, no matter how black the circumstance, we must trust that God's presence is with us. He says, he will never leave us nor forsake you. Stir up the flames within you. Stir up the flames in the heart. Catch on fire, hallelujah, in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Cry out to God to stir it up in you so that you can seek after him and follow him. So that you can press and fulfill the desires of your heart. Psalm 39, three states, my heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned, the, the spank, I spank with my tongue. Pastor Rudy mentioned on a song, a song during his message on Friday night. And I chuckled because I had already been working on this message and I, uh, and put a song in my message that I thought about. And I remember the artist, it was uh, Rick James and Tina Marie. Don't get nervous, y'all, don't, don't get nervous. <laughs> but I changed it to fit this message. And we can express, hallelujah, these sentiments to our Lord. Mm -hmm. It says, Jesus, you turn me on fire. Right. You burn me up. Within your flame, you took me a little higher, made me live again. You turned on my fire, Jesus. Then you showed me what love can be. Fire and desire, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, for your fire and your desire that burns up within me. I thank you, Father God, hallelujah. Because you give me the desire as I delight in you, as I follow you, as I worship you, as all these situations and circumstances come up, Lord God. Burn it up by giving me a desire to seek ye first. Hallelujah! The kingdom of God and your righteousness. And you say everything else will be added unto me. Cry out to the Lord with the fiery zeal in your heart. Be excited about being in his presence. Let him know you're excited about coming in to the house of the Lord. Let him know. Every time you're able to step your foot on this holy ground, hallelujah, we should be excited. Glory, hallelujah. We also want to be around some people who on fire, amen? amen? Hallelujah. We want to be around some people who want to help us stir up that fire within us. Some fire starters, amen? amen? People who are going to blow on the flames, hallelujah, to keep you going, not smother you out and choke you out, hallelujah, with negativity, with jealousy, we want to be on some, be on fire, because it's catchy. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. When you're around somebody else who is on fire, it's going to catch, hallelujah. It's going to blow up, hallelujah, within you and burn out everything else, hallelujah. That's not like God. Hallelujah. I'm so glad. 
grateful, hallelujah, to be in a ministry amongst my ministry team with ministers who are on fire, hallelujah, for the Lord. I'm so grateful, hallelujah, for my pastors, Lady Daniels and Bishop Daniels, who are on fire for the Lord, who encourage us to keep going, hallelujah, in the ministry and walk in what God has called us to be. So that's all I have on this afternoon, short and sweet. Just want to remind us, hallelujah, of what God has done for us, ways we're to delight ourselves in the Lord, practical ways. It ain't that difficult. It ain't that hard. It's just us. We just to tell our flesh, shut up, flesh. And yield to God. Amen. It's practical, simple for us to delight ourselves, and He will give us the desires of our heart. What's your desire today? Amen. Amen. Grace and peace, everyone. Please listen attentively to our exciting. Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple Announcements. Join us every Sunday morning for our Sunday morning worship experience, 11 o'clock a.m. via Facebook Live or YouTube. Sunday late afternoon delight, 5 o'clock p.m. also Facebook Live or YouTube. This broadcast features our dynamic ministers of our assembly. On Monday, we feature our motivational Monday moment where yours truly, Pastor Trish, is the host. It airs at 1 o'clock p.m. where I take a moment to talk about the Word of God. Also on Mondays, we have our men's ministry prayer, 8 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. The ID is listed on your screen. And we did not leave our young people out. On Mondays at 9 o'clock p.m. we have Freedom Side Chats where we feature our young people of our ministry. They discuss relevant and pertinent topics of the day. On Wednesday, our pastor has an exciting broadcast entitled On the Road Again, 5 o'clock p.m., Facebook Live, as well as an informative and uplifting Bible class, 7 o'clock p.m. Join us Facebook Live or YouTube. On Thursday, you, Pastor Daniel, again for his broadcast at 11 o'clock a.m., Oh, Taste and See. Facebook Live, and then join us for our Throwback Thursday broadcast, 1 o'clock p.m., where we feature awesome and anointing preaching and singing from past years. We know God's Word never changes. On Saturdays, we have Sunrise Prayer, 7 o'clock a.m., using our church conference call number. We know that we are to pray without ceasing. That number is also listed on your screen. We have exciting Christian education for all ages. On Saturday, our youth meet at 1 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. Our adults meet on Sundays at 9.30 a.m. also via Zoom, and those IDs are listed on the screen. Our grief support has informative and interactive meetings on the third Saturday of each month at 11 o'clock a.m. via Zoom. We have licensed counselors on staff to serve you. For more exciting content, and if you would like to connect with the community of Greater, we are on all social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Be blessed. I know you're feeling better now after that wonderful experience. Yes. I told you God was going to bless you. And as I always love to end, be prayerful, be positive, but oh my, be purposed. God bless. God bless.